Welcome to the Sacred Journey of the Soul with St. Ignatius of Loyola. As we start the Novena, we seek enlightenment, divine grace and intimate connections with the Divine. Let's embark on this luminous pilgrimage together. In this Novena prayer, we follow St. Ignatius on a transformative inward journey that transcends time and space. Together, let's open our hearts to his inspiring pilgrimage and embark on a spiritual odyssey guided by faith, hope and unwavering devotion. Goal of our life is to live with God forever. A new life, a new quest. I, Inigo, the unworthy pilgrim of our Lord, desire to go to Holy Land to preach and be ready to die for faith in Christ even among the infidels, but a Lord thought otherwise. When the Lord appeared with the cross on his shoulders, oh that moment when the Father invited you, Jesus, to take me unworthy servant in your service, you turned to me and imprinted those unforgettable words in my soul. It is my will that you serve us. That was St. Ignatius' self-image, a man on a ceaseless quest, always forging ahead and not at all inclined to look back even as he neared journey's end. The idea that receiving the Holy Spirit was crucial. We would trust in the Holy Spirit's presence alongside us throughout our lives. For Ignatius, Jesus was to be followed through discernment in the presence of the Holy Spirit. When someone sets out on the Christian journey, they don't know where they will end up. The answer lies in Pentecost without which neither the church nor the Christian life would exist. Jesus promised us he would be with us always, through the Holy Spirit until the end of the world. That is what Ignatius received and worked on. He was able to perceive how the Spirit moved both in his own life and in the lives of others. That is why he devised rules for spiritual discernment to help others do this. But the rules are not an instruction manual. They are a light to guide us so we may perceive whatever it is we need to experience. A pilgrim is the one who lives for a greater cause. For Ignatius, pilgrimaging meant more than following the greater cause. For Ignatius, to attain that greater cause was more of reverence and love by following the path of detachment, begging, vigorous fasting, serving all and preaching the word of God. For me today, it may not be this pilgrimaging, but in another way, maybe by seeing everything from the eyes of Christ or becoming another Christ to all or giving the God experience to others may be the contemporary way of Ignatian pilgrimage. This pilgrimage today also calls to away from self-will self-interest and self-love. Pilgrimaging simply means a way of love as Jesus. As a pilgrim, I am reminded that this journey does not end 
with reaching a physical destination rather it is a continuous quest for spiritual growth and transformation each step is an opportunity to draw nearer to god to deepen my relationship with him and to discern his calling in my life Let us pray. Father Ignatius, teach us to be pilgrims like you. Teach us to be free from the bondage of the world. Thus we may become to pilgrim of Christ. Almighty God, open our hearts and help us to recognize your presence in our lives. Through the intercession of our Father Ignatius, we beseech your blessing upon us that as we walk in our journey of life, may we move from narrowness and isolation to the frontiers of faith, hope and love to see all things new in Christ. We ask this To Christ our Lord. Amen.